Hey everyone, I'm Chris Baker. These are your Sabres Prospects goals for the week of October 16th through the 22nd of 2023. Underway in the puck up the left wing side. We're going to start here with the first of three Yuri Kulik goals and a win over Laval. Time shot, they score! Byro feeds on the right side. Kulik moving in a little handcuffed on the pass, but still definitely a little handcuffed there. The there was actually Isak Rosane that threw the, the puck now, over to Kulik. To it was right at his lead. lead skate. Kulik had to make the adjustment. Still got a lot on it. Scoring here nice adjustment. Nice shot. Of the Good first goal. Period. Kulik and set up nicely by Byro. A pace now by the Amex. Now, this actually is Brandon Byro here who finds Kulik at the right Byro dot with a beautiful cross-size feed. And Kulik absolutely drills it. Top. Once again, Byro skating down into the circle, feeds back to side shot. Score! Kulik, one-timer inside the right post. And another goal for the Amherst. Another goal for Kulik. Kulik picking up his second of the game, third of the season. The Amherst are one for one on the power play. And they'll actually have another power play opportunity. That was a two-man advantage on the power play. On the near wing, where's Doug Kulik gets his third Higgins. of the night here in now overtime after a sequence where the Amherst rang two posts. Stole away. They score. A shot down. Knocked puck down comes in front right to him. And now watch him the replay. He gets the puck, picks Kulik his spot, for the and he goes all over to a side that I didn't think he was going to go to. It's kind of deceptive wow, shot. Big win, two Great shot though here inside the post. Yuri Kulik hat trick wins it in overtime for the Amherst. Sends the mail home with the loss. Of that. They pound away at the puck. Shot there by Kulik finally puts it away. And the puck around the far boards down into the I love this net drive here right. from Alexander Kizikov. Stupid attempt in front. Man on his knees. Creates Takes a little chaos. Rebound. Creates the, the opportunity score. for Victor Neuchev to get his first away. North American goal. Neuchev. I think it's Neuchev will get his first goal in pro hockey in North America. Yeah, the youngster finds the rebound, chips it inside the left post. And his first pro goal for Neuchev. Puts the Amherst a one to nothing. First time this season, Amherst have scored the first goal. And this one coming at 2.17 of the first period. And getting to it is Prow. Now right this is a set side. play here that a lot Pops of teams run on the, the PP. It's just a bang, bang play there where Kizikov finishes Lifting it off. off the back front. He's Cubs getting front. rewarded with some nice and, minutes uh, early in the season, it and it's translating to points on the score sheet. Away. It's nice to Not see for the second-year player down in Rochester. So puts the Amherst on the board for their third of the game. Time of this one coming at 14:22 of the third period. Noah Ostlin wearing the full cage here takes it to the hole. Jams at his own rebound, gets it over the line. Nice fearless play to hit the dirty area. Oslin wearing the full cage there after taking a puck to the face in warm-ups the previous game. Ågren som klokt lämnar till Östlund som får den där lösa pucken forcerar in ledningsmålet för Växjö. När avslutet lockar fram en andra situation och när hemma publiken får se den där på mediakuben så så själv Malmo was absolutely smoked HV71 here. The wheels were already off for HV71. Walbert takes that turnover and just rubs salt in the wound with a nice, calm, skilled backhand finish to make it a 7 nothing game in the third period. Det är 
Bullset. Costantini was flying all night in this one in a win over Bowling Green. Here he gets his first regular season goal off the rush for the Western Michigan Broncos. This was part of a three-point night for Costantini. And we're going to hit a few power play bombs here for Komarov last week. He shoots! He scores! C'est 4 à 3 la marque! Un long tir frappé sur réception de Sevalot Komarov qui bat le gardien Cédric Massé à sa droite. Puis marque un avantage numérique 5 contre 4. 2 en 3 les remparts avec l'avantage d'un homme. Avec 12-0-5 à jouer. Les remparts réduisent le pointage à 4 à 3. C'était 4 à 1 Rimouski. Et les remparts viennent de marquer 2 buts en avantage numérique. 1 à la fin de la deuxième période. Komarov fin de tir à Savoie sur sa droite. Charles Savoie, le long de la ligne début à Kassim Godet à la gauche du filet. Godet pour Komarov, tir frappé. Et le but! Un autre boulet de Sévarod Komarov, mais marqué en avantage. Numérique 5 contre 4. Et c'est l'égalité 1 à 1. Et sur cette séquence, Komarov a bougé le long de la ligne bleue parce que les joueurs des Tigres s'étaient installés devant lui pour l'empêcher de tirer. Alors on a bougé quelque peu la boîte. Komarov s'est retrouvé du côté droit de la glace. La passe du capitaine Godet était parfaite. Et le tir frappé, le puissant tir frappé de Komarov trompe la vigilance de Nathan Darvo. Sardarian's got a really skilled stick. Here he cruises through the slot for the deflection goal. I like seeing that from him. Take a look. A very interesting second period. Yeah, you know, a great start to the period for UNH. What was it about? What was the message? It seems like it was, let's get bodies to the net. Let's try to make this a miserable game for a goal ten. Eliasson, Ollila mot Åkeblad. Ollila kommer vinnande ur duellen. Får det fram till Andersson som testar skott. Och Eliasson, den är löst framför kassen och det borde vara mål. Där är det mål. Och vi är... Well, there you have it, folks. Those are your Sabres Prospects goals from the week of October 16th through the 22nd. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next week.